Michelle Obama, there was an attack on you, and and I know there was, you know, when you said, uh, uh, for the first time, I'm proud of America, I'm going to say right now that I am more proud of America, and I know you are proud of America for what they have done, but I always knew that, but we always have known that there were white people who were abolitionists. There were white people who marched in the civil rights movement. There just was never enough white people to really break down the walls of segregation, the walls of uh, racism. But when we put that challenge out there, there was enough white people that came. Now, with this election, oh my goodness, the northwestern states of Maine and Vermont, and I know there ain't no black people in Maine and Vermont, but you guys did your thing. The white people of Iowa, I know there's not very many black people in Iowa, but guess what? You guys came out in full strength because you know a talent when you see it. You know somebody's heart when they see it. He just has a good heart. Michelle said that she was the cynical one. Barack really believed in this utopia world, and why not believe in a utopia world? John McCain, you have disappointed yourself. You have di disappointed your party. You got down dirty in the gutter. You called Barack a terrorist. You called him a socialist, which I consider to be very, very funny when it was the Republicans who have led us into a socialistic society by just completely destroying any kind of independence, financial independence that the United States had. George Bush, you, honey, baby, you made so many mistakes with putting us in war by, um, you know, saying that we would regulate ourselves. And I have to say right now, we need affirmative action because with this whole thing about deregulation, you know, Greenspan said that he thought that Wall Street would regulate itself. But when greed got in, was into play, they just couldn't. It overrode everything. And when we talk about affirmative action, affirmative action is something that needs to be regulated because we cannot trust people in power to do the right thing. There's just a not there's just not enough people in power to do the right thing. So tonight I want to say that I am just so very proud. And the thirty thousand of you who may have been in touch with more than thirty thousand, each one of you have wrote me back and you have said Pearl, I had a discussion at lunch, I had a discussion with dinner, because I try to tap into our psyches, because my, my belief is the final phase of equality is within our mindset. It's right here. We've broken down so many laws, we've broken down so many barriers with the colored only bathrooms, with slavery, with the grandfather clause, because we were given the boat in 1865. But they were poll taxes, there were tests to be taken, which they knew we weren't allowed to read and write. They knew that we didn't have a grandfather that could vote because they were slaves. We, you know, we didn't have money for poll taxes. So those were all kinds of tricks that they used to keep us from voting. But in 1965, 100 years later, we went ahead and we broke all that down and we were all able to vote. I am so proud of America, but I am more proud of black people and I am super duper duper proud of my mailing list of 30,000 people that went out and they talked to people. I won't get recognized for the work that I've done. You may not either, but just know in your heart and your soul that you were a part of making sure that America knew the greatness of Barack Obama and that we are equal human beings and we are just as good as anyone else. So with this in mind, my final last comment, with Barack being president, the thug is gone. <laughs> the thug is dead. Take them doggone French braids out of your hair. You are a man. Take those doggone diamond earrings out of your ears. You are a man and put them on some black woman's finger. We deserve love too. Men are providers and protectors of their women, their children, and their communities. 
And most black men have never, ever heard that that is their responsibility as men. But that is what they are here for. And Hollywood, please stop giving our men away. Please stop promoting for our men to lead black women. We need men. We need fathers in our community. We need men to love, honor, and cherish us. So on that final note, Barack, Michelle, Malia, and Sasha, I'm so proud of each and every one of you. You are America's first family, and I love you dearly. This is Pearl Jr. for True Talk Straight Out of L.A. And you too. <laughs> so, Barack, we look forward to four years and and four more years after that of a great presidency. You got your work cut out, but you are smart. You got a lot of wonderful people working on your behalf, and you are the man. Pearl Jr. signing out. Oh. Oh. Oh.